Hey guys, it's me, the American Samoon. God bless America. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Now, we are begin beginning this part of Game of Thrones in 3, 2, 1. Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family, if you'll excuse me, my lady. Oh no. Milady. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Milady. I hope you saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know I I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. Ooh. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... Be willing to help you. Oh no. Where's Sir Roiland? He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. I hope so. You made the right decision, my lord. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the Thank Warden you. No, of the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, shall we begin? We do not wish to waste your time. I'm afraid it's too late for that. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. It seems the Foresters have a talent for something after all. Lord Ramsay, we have another gift we'd like to offer to you. There are several ironwood groves along the borders of our land, all producing tall, strong trees. We'd like to give them to you in tribute. To me? That's very kind of you. Thank you. Look at that. More Foresters. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. Leave them be, Lord Ramsay. Ah, worried about your family. As you should be. 
I'm the Lord. I'll have you speak only with me. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care okay. about your loyalty. And I care even less about a bunch of trees on some far-off hill. The crown, however, wants what you Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forest squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our... Loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? 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 The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hellers have no such craftsmen. Ha! Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next 50 generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your ironwood and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. Whitehill men, never. It's already done. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. You've gone too far, Lord Ramsay. I demand you let her go. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? What have you done? But I don't want the brave lord. 
Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. Not Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your wolf. Kill him. If they give you any trouble. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mason quickly! You brought this on yourself. Please, stop! Don't let him take me! Let him go! Stop now, please! Please, let me go! Do something! Ethan? My son. Oh no, they didn't! Oh no, they didn't! Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Those sons of bitches. They will pay. No. No. I promise you guys, in the next episode, they will pay. I'm writing notes on who to get avenged. And they number one on my list guys that's the end of this episode see you next time bye guys